A billion years can seem like an unfathomable amount of time. That's a thousand million years, or about a quarter of the total time the Earth has even existed. It's hard to imagine what our little planet will look like in a billion years, but we're gonna go ahead and make some educated guesses. But first, be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications to get the latest videos from The Hub. If you're having a hard time wrapping your brain around the concept of a billion years, let's start with a smaller amount of time, a simple one million years. This prediction is hard to talk about because the pronunciation of this star's name is a contentious issue. Whether you know it as Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse, or simply Betelgeuse, we're talking about that red star located about 430 light years away. You know, the one that's going to explode in a mere million years. Yes, scientists believe that Betelgeuse will run out of fuel, collapse under its own weight, and then burst into a spectacular supernova. How will that impact our world? It'll even be visible in the daytime, so any remaining life forms will be able to look up at it at any point, making the sky look quite different than it does now. Now, let's talk about the planet itself. You know that the planet hasn't always had the continents arranged the way they are now. Shifting tectonic plates and seismic activity means that Mother Earth redecorates from time to time. Currently, our continents are racing around at a speed of 1.2 inches per year, or roughly as fast as your hair and fingernails grow. We track this using satellite positioning instruments embedded in the ground, but it wasn't always this easy. When geophysicist Alfred Wegener introduced the theory of continental drift 100 years ago, people thought he was absolutely crazy. Although he never lived long enough to see his idea become widely accepted, we have certainly come a long way since then. We know that there is a ton of convection and mechanical activity going on under our feet, causing the tectonic plates to shift. Scientists track the progress made by seafloor spreading to see where the continents used to be, and then they can predict where they might end up someday. Some scientists believe that in a mere 250 million years, the Earth will undergo an event known as the Pangaea Proxima or Pangaea Ultima. Pangaea is the term used for the supercontinent that once existed before the plates shifted and the continents separated into the way they are now. Scientists believe that they will find their way back together once more based on extrapolating plate movements over time. Now it's time for a much less fun prediction involving a little thing known as mass extinction, specifically the type caused by a gamma ray burst. The last known event like this was 450 million years ago, and it's known as the Ordovician Silurian Extinction Event. It ended out wiping out about 60% of all oceanic life on Earth, so saying that it's devastating is a bit of an understatement. It's the brightest electromagnetic event in the universe and sends out powerful and lethal radiation known as gamma rays. Just a 10 second burst could wipe out 25% of our ozone layer. To put that into perspective, despite humans' best efforts over the years, we've only managed to deplete about 3 and 4% of the ozone so far. We guess the only silver lining is that scientists believe that this will probably happen about 500 million years in the future when we will be long gone. We'll just tell ourselves that the remaining humans will be safely on a planet far, far away at that point. Even the plants won't be safe at this point. The traditional photosynthesis will no longer be a viable way for them to nourish themselves. When we hit 500 million years in the future, most plant life will be extinct as a result of the increasing luminosity of the sun. The extra sunlight will cause surface rocks to weather, trapping carbon dioxide in the ground. This means plants will struggle to get nutrients and they'll have to evolve to find new carbon-based methods of photosynthesis or they'll cease to exist. And sadly, about 99% of plant species likely won't live to see us hit our billion year anniversary. Let's just say if the plants can't make it, any remaining humans don't really have much of a chance of making it to one billion years. Likely at this point, life on Earth will be comprised of single-celled organisms. By this time, the sun is 10% more luminous than it is now, and the surface temperature on Earth is 116 degrees Fahrenheit on average. This will cause the oceans to evaporate, filling the atmosphere with water vapor, causing an extreme greenhouse effect. So we don't want to say the Earth is doomed per se, but things certainly don't look great for us a billion years from now. We don't mean to be all doom and gloom, but let's just say that getting off this planet and colonizing outer space might not be the worst idea we've ever had. Is it weird that we kind of wish we could see what happens to the planet after a billion years? Let us know what you think the future holds in the comment section, and don't forget to like this video. Bye for now.